a Marvel Studios Halloween special that is going to be having World of By Night being a main focus of it is going to start filming real soon, this month actually. And Michael Cicchino, the dude who wrote the music for The Batman, Spider-Man, and he's writing music, oh, The Incredibles, and he's writing music for Thor Love and Thunder. It, yeah, Thor Love and Thunder is going to be directing the Halloween special. I think it's going to be like about an hour or so. And um, those of you who don't know, Werewolf by Night is a dude who's like lineage is cursed into turning into werewolf at night, hence the name. And Vampire by Night and Blade are also supposed to be in the show or special, which has got me excited. Well, yeah, and, it, to actually see and again, it makes here. a lot of sense because they're going that way with Midnight Suns and everything. Oh, yeah. 100%. So, um, is a huge setup. For exactly. That. Moon Knight, we're going to see a lot. We might see or hear some things in Moon Knight um, that hint towards that or hint towards some of these characters that are going to be in this Halloween special. Uh, I'll put it to you this way. Um, Moon Knight, for the most part, well, Moon Knight is really, really standalone. However, Oscar Isaac had no clue who Moon Knight was essentially until he signed on, and then he recently started talking about Midnight Suns, and it's like you didn't know who Moon Knight was. There's no way you knew who Midnight Suns were. Exactly. I'll put it so, out, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying is we Moon Knight would probably be in Midnight Suns. I mean, I mean, I mean, not I mean, uh, Werewolf by Night. That's what I'm. Oh, to say. I would love. Yeah, for yeah. Him my bad, show. my bad. I meant to say Werewolf by Night. Um, overall, I mean, dude, I'm just hyped to see Blade make a return with Mahershala Ali, and I'm really Black Knight and everything coming together. Yes, dog, that the that whole sequence that they had with the sword coming up, like when he touched the sword, that was like really, really cool, actually. Exactly. So I'm, dude, I'm hyped just for what Marvel has planned because you know they're. Do you think they're going towards Noel or whatever? The f or? Oh no, the symbiote god. I don't think that has to deal with. Uh, that would that be that's more of a space thing but, but again with eternals that's true eternals is gonna have to build up oh i think they're building more towards galactus and like the space stuff but but uh, i think like noel especially with the eternal storyline that's what they're going towards with the eternals like i mean uh because I mean, they, they could i mean but, but think about it they just put venom back in the mcu he's no, officially <laughs> No, like the the symbiote. Oh, the symbiote. Okay, yeah, gotcha. yeah. who is basically Venom. That's why I'm saying I'm really excited to see what happens with all this because they're going somewhere, and there's so, like from Loki to um, to Werewolf by Night to Moon Knight to yeah, I mean, Lo the, like everything. There, it seems like they're going like three different directions with things, man. Yeah, I mean, the way it's set up right now is you got multiple fronts. You have the multiversal front, the space front, which is going to be like spearheaded by Thor and the Guardians, and then. I vaguely remember Annihilators coming out from, like, spinning out of Guardians of the Galaxy 3, but that was years ago. Um, the street-level stuff, the mystical sh with which Moon Knight and Doctor Strange cross into. Yeah. And then that's pretty much it, those four front. Well, then you have, like, the global standard stuff, but people are already used to that, so. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, we're going somewhere that's about to be freaking insane, and I'm actually all here for it, so. Yeah, I'm excited for it, but I really want to, like, see Marvel get deep, deep into like the um mystical side of shit. i mean look they will i think a lot of people need to focus on and remember that the equivalent of what what's happening now is the equivalent of like iron man starting yeah but they're doing it in like three different fronts at the same time exactly so a lot of people they're just like who are these characters and what's going on it's like how do you think people felt when iron man and all these yeah. things was coming out back then it was just like black widow and Hawkeye and yeah, they have to reintroduce. They're reshuffling the world, like the MCU, and introducing new concepts so they can explore it later on. Exactly, because what they're going to now is like insanely massive, and it has a lot of characters at foot. So they need to build everything up. That's why we talked about Madam Web and all kinds of stuff too. So comment down below what you guys think, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.